So in this video we'll be trying to solve the problem that we have on screen which is also a continuation of our series we'll be looking at Zen diet. So we, we, we already discussed what a Zen diet in the previous video we said Zen diet that look like uh, body bad in drawing but they look like this and they work in reverse bias and they are used as but it's all different regulate so they try to keep this path or should i say this branch getting the same voltage by maintaining the voltage drop here so let's try to attempt the problem that we have now okay we are given uh parameters uh parameters of a 6.6.2 6 volt zena diode that is our vz or they also told us that and our current in a zener diode is 41 milli amperes and our resistance of a zener diode is 2 ohms and we given power dissipated at this temperature maximum power was this and we're also given uh, current load current here minimum and then we are told that the the source can vary from this to here Okay, that nice so now they want us to find um find the um the current maximum we're given the power remember we're given the power maximum which is that one or is given to be 800 milliwatts okay you know 800 is like this and milli is something negative two that should equals to you know that power is equals to um, voltage dot current what they want from us they want um oh they want current so we are in the good space we know we know our potential difference or voltage for our zener diode was 6.2 and then we want to find current we have 800 here nano watts then we can get our current max and our current z max and then you put this in your calculator and if you did very well you should get something like one two nine milli amperes okay now we look at the next question the next question is find the minimum and this when you are doing something very tricky current mean what you should know now is that whenever you have current max of a zen diode you could just divide it by 10 to get current mean there is a proper way of doing it a more, more accurate way you should be using your table interpolation and stuff but as engineers the rough estimation we can do is this one it's the same thing as we, we engineers can take 9.8 and call it 10 for easy of calculations in the same for the same reason here for easy of calculation you can get you can take your i max divide by 10 and get your m i mean this works for Zener diode, okay? So then we can get our answer there, which is one two nine milliamperes. We want our current mean divided by ten, and then dividing by ten, what do we do? We move the comma, right? So we'll have twelve point nine milliamperes. How do we get the twelve? We move the comma, right? Comma here one. Then it was like this. Now we have it. So the next question is I uh, find the R that limit current to max. Okay. We now have the current max and they want us to find the R. I think we know this ohms law, I think. I, I call it VIR, that is our ohms law from your primary school or what's not whatever you got it and then you want us to find r we can say r is equals to v all over current cool so remember we're trying to find the resistance here um we know that the current that is here as a current the current that is here is the same as current here and current here so current in uh let me just write it in a proper way current in r is the same as current load plus current z 
so the, the below part is already sorted here yeah. we know current current going to be current load uh, but our current load will be using minimum because if we having max here we'll be having minimum here okay and our current minimum for the load was given if i'm not mistaken they gave us this as our current minimum so if that's our current minimum so we're adding zero and our current max for them for the iz so our max was what i think our max was 129 129 times 10 negative 3 uh, and then we'll be adding zero and then the voltage on top so the voltage there how can we compute it one the voltage here and then that will be your voltage max on the source of which voltage max on the source if i go there and check forgive me for keeping strolling down and it's 18 so it will be 18 minus uh the voltage drop that is happening here so whatever voltage drop that's happening is the same voltage drop that is happening here so we know our vz not to be uh, our vz not was given to be six point uh, six point two right i think it is six point two if I, let me just confirm six point two and then we can also find our um, also this thing has some sort of resistance so a resistance if we know resistance and current remember v is equals to i r we know i we know r so we can get the voltage drop by this is in a diode again so plus that will be uh, rz resistance of the vol of the zener diode i can find it somewhere in our question rz is this one two ohms so i'm just going to plug it there uh two ohms multiplied by remember v is equal to ir so we need r of that zener okay we need current of that zener diode remember we're using current maximum so current maximum i think it was one two nine times ten negative three close so and then close again and then if you compute here you should get your resistance and if you compute very well, you should get something like 9, 9, can I check my calculator? 9.0.1 uh, 9 ohms. Thank you.